Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another tricky SQL question. So the question is this. I have a table of student which contains two column. The first column is student ID and the second column is marks. So if I run this thing. So actually it is not, not a table. So I have taken a CT. So you can assume it as a table. Okay. So the first column is mark uh, ID and the second column is marks. So the question is we have to for, uh, forward fill the null values. Okay. So when, wherever there is null value, we have to fill it with the previous not null values. So for example, for this row, the previous not null is 20. Okay. For this row, the previous not null is 20. Okay. So there are already videos on this question but i want to show how i solved this question using another trick so the thing is you should know multiple ways of solving a question and you should always think that is there any another way i can solve this question this increases your thinking capability and you can think in different possible ways to uh, solve a problem so let's start with the first solution which is the solution everyone has given so i'll just copy paste the first solution because it's already available so i'll just copy paste uh, that solution and i'll explain how it's working then i'll move to my solution uh, which uh, i have used to solve this problem the first thing which should come in your mind is how we can create a group of related rows so if you see here these three is related related in the sense this 20 is going to fill here also and this 20 is going to fill here also so this we can create an, a, a single group then this 40 will be here and this 40 we are going to fill here also so this is another group so and this is a single row group and again this is another group so the first thing which should come come in our mind is how can we create a group and this is the base of this kind of questions so the first solution is this i'm just copying a uh, copy and pasting the solution and i'll explain so if you see here what what they have done is so just let me remove this comment out this thing and show you what's happening so if you see here see how they created the group so they see this this is under one group the flag column is 111 then for this group the flag column is 222 see how they created the group so what they are using is count of marks over they are using the analytical analytical uh, version of count so count of marks and over order by id so whenever we take count okay so null nulls are not counted so if we count if we count the marks column for this it will be one okay for this it will it will not it is null so the count remains same then again this is null so count remains same then again it, when null re, uh, null starts counting from here then previous one was uh, previous count was one and then again it found the not null element so the count increases to two again it goes like that only here it is null so count remains same same till here then again 80 the not null element so it's three so that's how the, they have created the group okay and then what they are doing is let me uncomment this they are just selecting the first value of each group okay so if you see here they are selecting the first value of marks okay and partition by flag column so this is a single group and from that group they are they are taking the first value okay the first value is a not null value so that's how they are solving this question so let me run this thing and see this is the output so just ignore this flag column just look here so it's 20 20 20 and 40 40 so see how easily it uh, easily we can solve this when if if we create the groups okay so this is the solution which is already given by many people so that's why i copy pasted here so let me show you the my solution how i solve this problem so as i said that to solve this problem first we have to create the group okay so to create the group what i did i use 
running some method to create the group okay so i did like this select star comma sum of case when the marks is null then zero else else the id okay and then end over over and order by id as flag from student so see what we get so if you notice here i am also able to create the group so see here from year to year its flag is 1 see here its flag 1 then from here to here the flag is 5 then here its single row so its only one uh, flag 12 then here its one group its under one group under one flag its 20 20 20 so now you will be thinking that what i am going to do with this flag column okay so if you notice here what if i take the not null values from this output and join back with the same table let me show you what i mean by this so let me put this thing this thing in another city name c i don't know why i used c over here but let it be so the this city name is c so so the c the city c contains this this id marks and flag column so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do a select let me write the the tables or, or the ct two cities which i'm going to join so the first one is c this city where we have this id marks and flag information the so the first uh, table will be the first ct is c and i am going to left join with i am going to take the null not null values from this c ct so in the output i will get this row because the marks is not null here i'll get this row because here we have not null values in marks and these two rows okay so what i am going to do is i am going to write here select star from from c where marks is not null okay so this thing this select star from c where marks is not null will return me not null values from c this c ct so this row will be written this row will be written this row will be written and this row will be written okay and this row will have the flag columns okay and i am going to join on the flag columns so left join on c dot flag equal to i am going to name this thing as jd jd dot flag okay and what all the things i am going to select is c c here i am going to do left join so i need all the rows from all the ids from the c also see here i want all the ids whether this is null or not i don't bother about that i want all the ids so i am going to take ids from the c column okay the other thing i want is marks okay so marks i am going to take from the jd column okay because the this c column has null values so i don't want the null values i only want the the values which i have got after the join and now if you notice here c we have 20 20 20 let me uh, take the marks from c column uh, c ct also 
so it will be side by side null values and the forward fill uh, values let me call this marks underscore p for previous let me run this now so if you see here see this was the previous marks okay this was null here then it is it is 20 here then it here it is 20 for here it's 40 and then forward fill by 240s then here it's 80 then here it's 77 and forward fill by 277s okay so i first solved this problem using this method on my own then i looked at the their solutions so yes although my solution is uh, quite tricky and has uh, extra steps but i think i found uh, multiple ways to solve this problem and uh, you should always think of solving the problem in different ways so uh, your mind can think in different perspective to solve the problem okay so that's all for this video and i'll come up with another sql problems in future so thank you for watching this video and if you feel that this video was helpful so you can like this video and subscribe for more such videos thank you